Taurus, this is your week ahead tarot card reading by Born Without Boundaries Tarot. This is a message for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. Taurus, we begin with turn knowledge into wisdom. This is a moon energy. So it's about psychic and intuitive understanding. It's also about using your past to inform your future. It's about wisdom versus knowledge. You're in a position this week to know better because in the light of the moon, things can get very, very fuzzy, but it is your experience that enables you to see clearly. So this is what where spirit is bringing your attention right now. Know that you may have to be bold and aware and make be wise in the presence of something that could be very illusionary, very distracting, uh, very romantic, and very hmm. unknowable. Let's continue. Taurus, this is a timeless message that comes to you when you call it into you. I create the video, I create the message, and you call the message into you. Like you are why the message has come to you because you drew it into you. That being said, I make a new message every single week for Taurus. So if you really love my messages, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring that notification bell so that you know when I upload your favorite content. Make sure that you've selected all notifications so that you never miss a notification, including a live. So you can catch me live and ask me questions. Um, Taurus, if the cards fall out, I'm just gonna leave them there. It's a lot to fall out, but I'm just gonna leave them there because they are part of the reading. Um, if you're looking for a personal reading, I do do those. Check out my website, www.bornwithoutboundariestarot.com and just sign up for the reading that is right for you, for the for the energy that matches uh, what you need right now. Uh, you can book a schedule right there on my website. Almost done. Let's cleanse... Oh, okay. Let's cleanse the energy. So, crowning our reading, trust in the magic. So now this is bringing on a whole new realm of moon energy because moon is the impossible where everything is possible. Like there's, there's, it's, it's infinite possibility. Nothing is impossible. So this card comes about as like white magic, this sense of you can, you can create something into being, or there is a new start or a new beginning maybe using your wisdom to be able to see or perceive an opportunity that isn't clear, but you know that something is about to begin. You can feel that something is about to begin. And these cards are confirming that, that your intuitive energy that's creeping up, it's, it's coming, right? You can feel it. And it's something that's really pure. Um, that's the best way to put it. Trust in this energy turn knowledge into wisdom and sweet results await. This is Leo energy. This is success. Think of the sun card. Um, only the busy bee gets the honey. So even though this may have been psychic or intuitive, you have been actually tangibly doing work on this because that's where the sweetness comes from. The sweetness comes from what you've been working on actually working out or yielding something that is important to you. This is success 
it's bringing something to light. You also now have the sun and moon on the table and something new. Do you know what we have here? We have an exact date. This is about the next new moon. We have a full moon coming up in about a week and a half. So this is about three weeks out. So it's not just for the week ahead so that you know. Um, or if you're curious, this would be the new moon in Gemini that is going to be coming up because we're, gonna about to, we're about to have a full moon in Sagittarius. The new moon is coming up in Gemini. So we have a timeline here now for our reading and now we know where the future is expanding. And then we have a lot of cards. Luck, okay, now is a lucky time. So this is being able to propagate and grow whatever you have been into, whatever you've been doing. This is fertility. Um, and then we have use your mind wisely. Uh, when pigs fly. Now is a lucky time and use your mind wisely so that you, it, through discernment you can make the right choices. But it's like, to me, the impossible is about to happen. Right? Because we got this impossible energy that is actually dawning or coming into new. Um, and then Taurus, we have you see clearly now, which is the truth, which is um, reality. Or you see the way, you see the truth of a certain situation, right? Even through the moonlight. Um, this is a qu double Aquarius energy. Now is a lucky time. Use your mind wisely. You see clearly now. You see clearly now what's important to you and what your heart wants. That's what's clear. And also the courage to be able to act upon it. This is all taking action. So it's no longer just conceptual or feeling it. This is also romantic. I got to say, you guys, you're feeling something building now. You can feel it building. And these cards all but confirm it's the real deal. I don't know what is building in your life right now. This is just what whatever you're getting. It's not a feeling emotion. Fuck emotions. Emotions are garbage. Enough with emotions. Emotions are you have to feel them. You got to get rid of them. This is the vibration. You are picking up on this. And this is the confirmation. What's this card? Taurus, time for a deep dive. And that's romance. Now, romance doesn't just have to be, it could just be idyllic, an idyllic situation. You know something good is coming. You know something sensual, as in the five senses will enjoy it. Something pleasurable, something lovely and beautiful. You know it's coming. And this all but confirms it. So, honestly, this is a sense of you keep working on it. You keep working toward this. You have to because you're right. All of it's going to start to spill out now. Okay, but, so what's the message behind the moon then? Please clarify that for us. What, what does Taurus need to know, literally? What do they need to know? They need to know Virgo. Who is a Virgo in your life? Because, yeah, something is coming out of this. Or you need to know to continue to convergo. It could just be the energy of healing, spending time alone. Be okay with continuing to do this in the dark. Not that you're trying to hide it, but that you don't need to announce it yet. Because it's diligent work. It's day-to-day. -day. That's what hermit really is. Hermit is the, the Virgo energy of day-to-day -day diligence, holding strong, like God wants you to keep doing it because honestly, Taurus, look at what you're developing right now. Look at the momentum you've got. This is going to become so freaking beautiful. Let's get this six card spread. We're going to first go to the resolution cards. Okay. How does this all resolve for Taurus, please? Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, all of this is coming out. And I, I've got to honor that. Okay, let's figure out how this works. Let's let's do the six card spread. Six card spread for Taurus, please. The details of how all this energy is playing out in their lives right now. We have there's defeat. There was some defeat. Something somewhere brought you down. So it's just this energy of, okay, I start at defeat. I start with nothing. Right? How do I react to the defeat? That's really what the Five of Swords asks. How do you react? to the defeat because something has changed and that change is it didn't go the way you wanted it to go so how do i react to it do i fight do i stand and fight do i walk away or do i stay still so ultimately this is another five which is more change in your life also depressing um defeat financial defeat also maybe the defeat of poverty because you got a negative plus a negative equals a positive for me. So there's a sense of defeating this, this resource stagnation, defeating the poverty, defeating being alone, defeating feeling drained, right? So there's this energy of without seeing it, I know it. Think of Piscean energy. I believe it, therefore I see it. That is exactly what this energy is. I believe it, therefore I see it. What have I got to lose? is kind of what these cards are doing. It's like, what have I got to lose? Mm. Oh, wow. There is a shock on this table. Something all collapses. Something is bought down. That something is always weak. When there's a tower on the play, the tower destroys. Something is destroyed. But we're going to get, we got to get it. What is destroyed? Hold on. Let, let's finish the six cards. What is destroyed? What's on the other side of this tower? It's almost like intuitively you know independence. Standing on your own two feet. Contentment. Contentment. With what you have. With who you are and what you're capable of. It's not really happiness. But it's contentment. And then we have sadness and heartbreak. What? And that's the moon card that comes out. It's almost like in some ways you are optimism on crack right now, Taurus, because all of this fucking heartbreak is bullshit. It's the illusion. It's almost like somebody refuses to believe that what they feel isn't real. Let's see how that plays out. What is this tower? No, just be, ex be explicit. What is this tower? What is this tower? Thank you, guy. Six of swords. Somebody moves away or walks away. Doing something that you never thought that you could do, which is to leave, to move, to get the fuck out of there. Because you know that if you stay, you'll only find stress and sadness. But we're, we're moving on from this. This is the shocker that helps people move on from the crap. Right? Okay, so what's this uh, moon card? The Empress. There's somebody here that has a lot of value, that has a lot of abundance. And what is this Empress? It's almost like you don't even realize how abundant someone is. Being disappointed or somehow feeling like you've lost out. You haven't lost out. What is in the past? In the past, there was some sort of divorce. There was some sort of divorce or, yeah, moving away from each other. Um, something didn't work out. A pairing didn't work out. You don't know that something's going on here. Maybe you didn't realize how much you have to offer or how abundant you are, even without this person. 
Because some, let me tell you this right now. Somebody is really going to surprise somebody else. I don't know if it's you. I don't know if it's them, Taurus. But somebody's really about to shock the shit out of somebody else with how well they're fucking doing and how abundant their fucking lives are. And I'll tell you this right now. I hope that you're that person because whoever fucking shit on you and left you, they're going to be shocked at what you've become. And it's great. Let's let's look at the resolution. Oh, no, no, no. First, let's get a moon card. Let's get a moon card. Your hard work is paying off, Capricorn says. You're liking this better than you thought you would. And we know your hard work is paying off because sweet results await. Honestly, Taurus, this is you getting on the other side of a situation that almost destroyed you. I swear to God, you learn how to get out of your own way, you can accomplish anything in life. And that's what this is. You got out of your own way. You got out of your own way. You, you decided to move on, on your own. It might have broken your heart. But honestly, I think you have found a level of independence and a level of success in that independence that even you did not predict. We have... Aries energy. So this is an initiator, a leader, somebody who likes to be in charge. Maybe you were disappointed. Maybe disappointment in a father figure. Maybe disappointment in your own individuality. Like, I don't want to be individual. I don't want to go out on my own. I, I don't, like, that's just not what I want. And so you stayed stuck, right? But then we have stayed stuck or you couldn't get over a situation. But look at this prosperity that comes now abundance coming in so many resources almost pregnant with resources and the ability to adapt so coming from a crap situation that's where you got the wisdom you are now applying and actualizing to the next level there could be some pregnancy here too because they're both they're both cards of pregnancy. This this would sh shock you. Some somebody here is about to get shocked because the the person on the other side of the disappointment is a lot more advanced and moves on a lot quicker, <laughs> a lot quicker than anybody thought they would. So it's either telling you something about somebody that you were dealing with, or it's telling you about your situation. If you were the one like kind of left in the lurch and abandoned. I got to tell you, you're going to, you're going to shock the shit out of, out of, look at me now. How do you like me now? That's kind of the energy. How do you like me now? Now that I'm on my way, that's what it is. That sense of somebody, somebody's on their way. Somebody moving on up. I don't know if this is money or love. I don't, I don't, it doesn't matter. It's just really good. Truth be told. By the book the truth be told this was always how it was going to work out because you stuck to this and didn't give up and by the book really really helped somebody even when they had this and so it's basically saying to you go by the book even if you feel heartbroken or disappointed this week stick to your plan stick to stick to what you believe in stick to what you know and stick to your actual value and stick to the traditions by the book and truth be told. Go ahead. Truth be told. What? Truth be told. Somebody should have seen this. Somebody should have seen it happening because it is kind of like, it's kind of predictable at some point. Like this is almost saying that you should have known either this person was like this or they should have known you were like this because you haven't differed. You haven't changed. Let's get a, an angel message. Okay. A pregnant pause. Ooh, haven't gotten. Oh, okay. Ceremonies and celebrations. It's time. It's a time of important life passages. Uh, such as weddings, birthdays, graduations, or anniversaries. Important life passages. Sitting in your hand. This is a passage for you divine counterparts into the next phase or onto the next level. Um, 
or finally it something being officiated with regards to your achievement let's dig deeper i'll see you guys in the extended the link is in this in the description box right below you can click right on it or you can go to the comment section and i pin it to the top of the comment section or go to vimeo or my website and look for the recent taurus video it will be there and you can purchase it there i will see you guys on the other side